In this tutorial, I'll show you some of the very basic things about Excel. Um, I'll show you how to use a sum function, how to copy formulas in cells, and how to um, use relative and absolute addressing. So, um, I have a spreadsheet here with some made up data about monthly census in a hospital. Here are the different um, wards, hospital wards, or units. Uh, here are the number of cases, and here are the inpatient days for that month, for some month. So let's say we want, would like to know the total number of acute cases that were handled at the hospital this month. So what I want to do is sum up all these numbers. Using a spreadsheet, it's not necessary for me to take out the calculator and add in all these and then type the number here. I can use a function in Excel to do the sum to sum all these up, and what I do here is I'm typing in sum, that's an Excel function, and then I can um, either add in numbers this way, like say for example, or an easier way is to add a whole range. So I select the column that I want to, st I'm sorry, the row that I want to start with, and keeping my left um, mouse button down, select to the end of the column where I want to stop. So the area from cell B4, starting in cell B4, so here is the cell B4, it's in column B and in row 4, and until cell B17, column B, row 17, this is the area that I want to add, the cells in this range. So um, I open the bracket after the sum function, have the range in there that I want to where the cells are that I want to add in, and then I close the bracket. And that's it. Here I have the number, and I can have the same formula here, let's say, for this sum. Okay, and actually I don't have to be right under, uh, right in this cell to calculate the sum. I could be anywhere. For example, I could do it here, sum and select what I want to add up, so it ends up being the same number. And if I want to format it in a certain way, I can do the formatting like with um, most Microsoft documents, so I can select these cells, I can change, I think they are using Arial here, change the font, I can uh, make it bold, underline, I can um, center it, so I can change uh, the way I um, the data is viewed. I can also use the sum here to add to the total acute the number of newborns, or I can just do, because only two numbers, might be just as easy to just use plus. So here I'm doing B19 plus B21, and if I double click on this cell, it um, shows me what cells are referred to in the formula used in this cell. Notice that I'm putting an equal sign here in front of the formula so that Excel knows that I'm uh, entering not just a number but a formula. And um, I can see which cells are being referred to. I can copy, right here I'm copying the format from cell B19 and I'm going to paste it into B23, so B23 will look um, the same as B19, and I can, I showed you how to enter the formula by typing, I can also copy the formula, so I'm holding the left mouse button down, and I can um, drag the formula, for example, so if I drag it, the um, um, column, if I drag it to the right or to the left, if I drag it across a row, the column numbers get adjusted accordingly. So in um, right here we were referring to B, um, right here I'm now referring to the same rows in column C. If I would drag this down to the right again, here I will be referring to D, here, oops, sorry, I didn't get it. <laughs> if I 
keep dragging it, I will be referring to E and so on. So as I'm dragging the formula to the right, um, the rows in the formula stay constant, but the columns get changed. Um, if I start, sorry, I'm jumping around a little bit. If I now, let's say, drag it down um, the same formula, then what happened now that instead of adding um, the values in rows 19 and uh, 21, I'm now adding values in rows 20 and 22. So I've kept um, dragging it from E23 to E24. I kept um, the column the same, but the rows changed. So let me just delete all these. It's just showing you how to my intention was to show you how to copy the formulas by dragging it from one cell to another. So we saw here how to use the sum function. We saw how to uh, how to enter a function, how to use the sum function, how to select a region to which uh, which could serve as an argument to the function. We saw how to change the format of a cell and we saw how to copy the formulas in the cell by dragging them across a row or down a column. One more thing that I want to mention that um, will be useful later is that this box right here is called the name box and when, so now I'm in B19 and you see the formula here in B19 and this Fx here is, um, so this is the formula box, is Fx is a formula wizard and if you click on it and you're working with a certain function it will tell you, um, it can give you some help on how to use the function. There's also um, um, a link here, help on the function, you can get more help on that.